You've been selected to participate in the biggest reality show on the dark web. That's the setup of the new Hulu original movie, Self-Reliance, starring Jake Johnson and Anna Kendrick. A lonely guy is given the chance to participate in a life-changing game show. The only catch is to survive, he can never be alone. The new thriller comedy, Self-Reliance, written and directed by Jake Johnson, premieres January 12th, streaming only on Hulu. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. You hear that? That's the sound of Rogue. The sound of high-quality, great-tasting nicotine pouches. The sound of settling less and getting more than the other guys. That's the sound of going rogue. Underage sale prohibited. For more information, visit roguenicotine.com. Babysitter paid. Pizza ordered. Flowers delivered. Sprinkler set. Mattress adjusted. Shows recorded. Flight book, shades closed, watch updated. You can do a lot of things with your phone. And with Blue Link Plus, you can even access your Hyundai Tucson Limited remotely. Doors unlocked, temperature set, lost car found. Get complimentary class leading Blue Link Plus. Just another way owning a Hyundai Tucson Limited is more convenient than ever. That's right, more convenient than ever. Learn more about the new Tucson and Blue Link Plus at HyundaiUSA.com. Call 562 314 4603 for complete details. Is trust given or earned? Netflix's new competition series, The Trust, is the ultimate test of human nature. And you can trust that you're going to be obsessed. 11 strangers are offered a quarter million dollars and a choice to share the money equally or vote each other out to take more for themselves. Would you choose to split the money? Could you trust others to share? Find out if good is greater than greed. The Trust, a game of greed, is now streaming on Netflix. You don't know me. A confession I can't take back. I am... The Masked Speaker. We got a text to 78592 that says, I'm a pilot for a major airline, (gasps) but I still have to say, never eat shredded wheat to figure out which way east and west (laughs) are. I used to do soggy waffles. I do soggy waffles, you too. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I just refuse to learn it still. Yeah. I use naughty <laughs> elephant squirt water. Whoa, Are you yeah. joking? Either Wait that or minute. Nelly enjoys sociable weddings. Oh, wow. easy to you remember. Had a weird child. Yes. <laughs> Those are you. Yes. You'll never forget that. Wow. But if you're okay. a naughty elephant that wants to squirt out some secrets, oh, you can man. do it right here oh. on the mass <laughs> speaker. That's two right. sounds. <laughs> like yeah. one of our listeners who's ready to super soak us with a oh. confession. All right. She's yeah. chosen to go by Stephanie today. So, Stephanie, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? Ooh, even with a voice changer, you sound nervous. Oh, uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Nelly was nervous when he went to all those sociable weddings, so you're just like Nelly today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just picturing the rapper. Yeah. Oh, Every, oh, are, is that who you're that's, talking that's about? That's what I'm talking oh, about. Okay. Yeah, Nelly. What other Nelly is there? I yeah. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so channel your inner Nelly today. Voice changers on. You're the mass speaker. Whenever you're ready, let's hear your confession. Okay, so basically, oh God, it's okay. this happened when I was in the eighth grade. Okay. Okay. Man, you've been holding on to this for a minute. If it happened way back then, I think you sound like you're in the ninth grade. So yeah. I don't know how long <laughs> this was, but keep going. So basically, I was on vacation with my family. I have two brothers who are older, and then my parents. Okay. So we to the Bahamas and Whoa, oh, nice Bahamas. Nice. Uh, we stayed at a, a family suite in a nice hotel. Oh, okay. Afterwards, we got settled in, and then we went down to the beach, and I was playing around with my brothers. We ended up playing volleyball. Sounds like a great time. I'm sure your mom's snapping pictures, like, look at them getting along. Mm-hmm. Unless volleyball's not allowed on that particular beach in the Bahamas. Maybe oh. that's what we're breaking the rules. <laughs> the notorious volleyball bands mm-hmm. of the Bahamas. Yeah. Is that what happened? No, I just basically got, like, really drenched in sand. Like, it was just all in my hair, and I felt really gross. So yeah. I just decided I'm going to just go up and take a shower. Okay. And so my family was still down on the beach level. Uh-huh. And when I went in the room, uh, all of a sudden, as I'm taking a shower, I could just hear men's voices, but it wasn't, like, familiar. Like, no oh. one in my family. That I knew or anything. Where? Oh, in scary. in your room? 
it was like directly next to like the bathroom, but as it got closer, I could hear that it was like outside the suite <gasps> door. Oh no, oh, I'd be so scared. Especially, I mean, it, honestly, it could be like some maintenance people, but yeah. I would still freak out. Yeah. You know, especially at that yeah. age. I mean, I hope you were just overreacting, right? No, because they actually came in the room, and I can hear them rummaging through our stuff and everything. Oh, oh my God, they're robbing you, and you're in the bathroom yeah. while it's happening? Yes. And so oh, that's terrifying. All of a sudden, the voices get closer to the bathroom door, and I can hear the doorknob turn. <gasps> um, all of a sudden, I see this guy, and he sees me, and I hear this scream. But it, it definitely wasn't me screaming. It was him. He was, he, he was oh, screaming yeah. when he went into the bathroom. Well, I didn't know you were in there. Totally. He was probably yeah. shocked. That's the last thing he wants to see is a little girl in the bathroom. Right. Yeah. So I guess when I was washing my hair, I combed it down in front of my face. You know, to try to get all of the sand out. Yeah. And he must have thought that I was like the girl from the ring. Oh. <laughs> like when she gets out of the well and her hair yeah. is like all wet and hanging yeah. straight down. And instead of screaming, you were like, welcome in. Yeah. <laughs> I have Join always me. thought that that would be the best security oh. is to out creep oh, the, the creepy child. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened to the guy? Did he run out? Oh, yeah, the, he ran, and so did they, and after that, they didn't come back at all, and I know I probably should have said something to my family, but... You kept it a secret? Wait, did they drop everything, or did they rob you still? Yeah, uh, nothing was done, like... Oh. You thwarted them. Wait. Well, first of all, yeah. we are all very happy to hear that nothing bad happened. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yes. Jeez. That is that could be worst case scenario. Yeah. Uh-huh. We're also very happy to hear that you scared away the neighbors before they could take anything. <laughs> very cool. But yeah. why didn't you, like, say anything to your family or yes. your parents uh-huh. or anything that two strange men broke into your room and yeah. tried to rob you? I mean, especially at that age. I tell my parents everything. Then. Yeah. 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 And then they'd be like, stop making yeah. stuff like, up, bro. Shut up, bro. <laughs> I know, right? Because at that age, I just, I really just cared about, I just wanted to stay there and be on the beach and enjoy the vacation. Oh, you thought that thought they would mean... cancel the vacation. Oh, like go home early. Yeah. Move, I could see move that. Move hotels or fly yeah. home. Oh, I see. Aww. Actually, that was the smart move. Good job. No. So, wait, so, so you stay in the hotel room knowing there's two people that, that know where you're staying? Yeah. It's like, yeah, I got two big older brothers. Okay. Yeah, that's true. The family's here now. I don't care. So I never said anything all these years, and I'm just... I'm so relieved to get that off my chest. Whoa. Oh, my God. Wow. I think you could tell them what happened now. She wants to be able to go back with the family I to the see, Bahamas see, again, I so see. she doesn't want to ruin yeah. their next family okay. vacation. That's what's happening. Yeah. Make sure you text in 78592 if you have a confession you've been holding on to. We can hide your identity by masking your voice so that you can be the next mass speaker. We got your phone tap coming up. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. No one likes to talk about money. Am I saving enough? Can I buy a house? Am I paying too much in taxes? Will I be able to retire? What if you could unlock insights about your finances in less than five minutes with a clear picture of where you stand today and where your money can work harder? Now you can. Visit facet.com to take the free quiz and get your financial wellness score today. That's F-A-C-E-T.com. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth Incorporated is an SEC-registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. This is where projects come to life. Our showrooms are designed to inspire with the latest products from top brands, curated in an inviting, hands-on environment, and a team of industry experts to support your project. We'll be there to make sure everything goes as planned, from product selection to delivery coordination. At Ferguson Bath, Kitchen, and Lighting Gallery, your project is our priority. Find great brands like Bosch at your local showroom or visit us online at ferguson.com build. From charming European-inspired winter markets to the world-famous Mall of America, not to mention no sales tax on clothing, Minnesota is a shopping paradise. Get seasonal trip ideas with our free travel newsletters at exploreminnesota.com. State Farm is committed to being your top choice when ensuring the things that matter to you. My Cultura podcast host, Dramos, also believes in the power of financial knowledge. That's why he makes sure to share his financial tips on his podcast, Life as a Gringo. 
We all deserve to be living the life that we want to live. But how do we do it in a responsible way that we know we can afford it? For me, if I have to buy it on a credit card, if I can't pay that card at the end of the month, I can't afford it. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Learn more at es.statefarm.com. State Farm is a proud partner of the Michael Cultura Podcast Network.